the CDC, 30 million Americans currently have diabetes. A majority of those are type 2. Yeah, we look into the dangers and difference between type 1 and type 2 in tonight's medical moment. I think it was endocrinology is the study of the body's complex hormonal actions and their disorders. They deal with all different types of hormone abnormalities from pituitary issues to adrenal gland problems uh, to thyroid. But there is one overwhelming health problem that endocrinologists and diabetologists deal with the most. The CDC just came out with numbers recently that they speculate 78 million Americans are affected by some disorder of blood sugar. Some people are on medication that cause us to have higher blood sugar, sometimes like steroids, um, different types of chemotherapies can influence blood sugars. But Dr. Rob Self says a majority of blood sugar issues are related to type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is when the pancreas makes no more insulin. Okay, and there's several theories out there, whether that's an autoimmune process or because it's been because of a viral infectious exposure or there's a genetic makeup that precludes the individual to get type 1 diabetes. It can oftentimes people can die from complications from type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes often, often is directly related to food consumptions and or carrying around extra weight. So type 2 diabetes, then the pancreas still makes insulin, but the insulin we make just isn't as effective as it should. Dr. Self says 90% of all diabetes cases in the U.S. are type 2. There is definitely a genetic component to type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes oftentimes is directly influenced by lifestyle choices. That equates to approximately 27 million Americans. But type 2 diabetes chronically can cause a whole host of concerns, including vascular issues such as strokes and heart attacks. Some people lose limbs. Amputations can occur from this. Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney dialysis or kidney failure. Dr. Self adds both type 1 and type 2 can contribute to blindness. Diabetes can be a very complicated management process because unfortunately diabetes doesn't just typically go away. It's something to be managed every day, virtually every meal. And next week, we will learn about Spectrum Health's Diabetes Center. Meanwhile, to learn more about diabetes or other metabolic disorders, you can go to the website or call the phone number on your screen right there.